Hi, I'm Bethany, and that's Drew. Today we're in Riverside, California, looking for a hiking trail that'll lead us to the top of a mountain full of paranormal rumors and lots of history. As we make our ascent, we'll be covering territory that gets thousands of visitors each week, but has managed to keep its best secrets hidden for years. Come with us as we explore Mount Rubido, right here on Oddity Odysseys. And I think I see the trail right here. Time to start. Okay. Forgot the camera. We are trying to get to the trailhead of Mount Rubido, but it's in a very residential area. So we're gonna park at the park. Which park? Ryan Bonaminio. It's about a quarter mile from the trailhead and they are oh. ready for people. Why don't we just stay at the park and have fruit all day? I know, I kind of saw the setup that they have over here and I'm thinking we don't really need to hike. Hey look, oh, parking. There's a, yeah, there's a lot of parking spots over here. Let's go. There are actually a number of starting points from which to approach this mountain. The most popular place to begin is Ryan Bonaminio Park just to the south. From there, it's a quick walk up San Andreas Avenue to the Mount Rubido Trailhead. However, on the north side of the mountain, off Mission Inn Avenue, is an area called Carlson Park, and we wanted to stop by there first to investigate an unusual rock formation. We heard about a series of catacombs that connects the Mission Inn to Mount Rubido to the uh, cemetery. And what is this? We come across this guy here. We thought it was worth a look. I have a feeling that for safety, they probably covered over most of the entrances, and this one just looks really suspicious to me. <laughs> It's almost like this would have been an entrance point, but if you see here, there's a metal. Oh yeah, it looks like that wall was poured concrete. It's like fake wall. <laughs> designed to look like stone. But then to the left there, that looks like actual stone. Yeah. There's even a photograph of people from back in the 30s, I believe, where they're walking up these steps towards a door. So I think this door. did used to be an entrance to something. What are they trying to hide from us? Look, a lot of this is fake, poured rock, sure. concrete. Yeah, we just came for a nice hike up Mount Rubido and we're finding all sorts of other things. Right. Somebody watching. Oh, darn it. It's locked. Dang. A hatch. Pull harder. <laughs> Boy, that is some kind of a structure that's buried there, isn't it? It's probably just something really simple, like a water system, and everyone's laughing at us right now. But I think it's something more. That's what they want you to think. Like a ventilation system. This whole yeah, section yeah. here is very suspicious. Okay, well maybe we'll find more on the other parts of the mountain. Well, that is where we're headed. Oh boy. So we better get started. Starting up the trail to Mount Rubido. There are a number of trails that lead you up to the summit, but we're taking the most popular one because it's paved. All uphill too. Yep, well, I mean, if there was a trail that led downhill to the summit, we would jump on it, but unfortunately that's not how mountains work. So this is a popular hiking trail. I've already seen a lot of people come and go, and it's still early. It's only about a three mile trip, so it shouldn't be too bad of a day. Just in case you don't know how far you've gone, We've only gone a fourth of a mile. Oh my. Mount Rubido was named after wealthy ranchero Louis Rubido, who owned the mountain in 1952. In 1906, Frank Miller, founder and owner of the famed Mission Inn, and Southern Pacific Railroad industrialist Henry E. Huntington combined forces and pocketbooks to purchase the mountain. Miller and Huntington formed the Huntington Park Association and laid out their plans and dreams to pave a road to the summit and develop Mount Rubidoux into a park to be enjoyed by Riverside residents for years to come. All along this path, I'm finding that there are little tunnels and side paths that go into little hidey hose. I found one right here. They look like secret staircases. Yeah, exactly. Ooh, it looks like a, something we saw at Bighorn Mine. I was just thinking it looks like a mine. This is a secret entrance to the trail that we were just on. Just leads under the roadway. So we're coming up to our first Mount Rubido landmark, which is the Peace Tower and Friendship Bridge. Indeed. And it was built for Miller, who is basically the leading community member of Riverside with his efforts in the Mission Inn and with Mount Rubido. And so it's a tribute to him that was built in 1925. Oh, here it is. And it's still here. I feel like this is the picturesque part of Mount Rubido. Yeah, yeah. Walking up the steps of the World Peace Bridge. I believe this bridge was designed to be a replica of a famous bridge in Spain. Yep. 
That's kind of why it looks so out of place in Riverside. And here we have the tower, which really reminds me of the Laguna Beach Fire Tower <laughs> for <laughs> yeah, some totally. reason. Ah, oh, man. Ooh. Oh, there's a door in there. Can you get in? No. Is that the entrance to the catacombs? I wish. Sneak a peek in there. So when Miller was on a trip with his family in 1925, the city and his friends combined efforts to build this as a surprise and he went away. Mm. So when he came back home, he had a world peace bridge, which symbolizes his advocacy for peace, mm -hmm. right here on his very own Mount Rubidoux. So there are also tales and rumors of things unseen, kind of in the paranormal here at Mount Rubidoux. So there's hikers reporting that rock formations build up out of nowhere. Wait, um, like that one? Yes, but I think that's just part of the railing. Oh, yeah, you're right. If we come back and we see two more without anyone doing that, then that's probably what they're talking about. Yeah, for sure. I also heard reports of hooded tall figures walking around at night after dark when the park is closed, uh, which might make sense because the Evergreen Cemetery is not too far from here where Frank Miller is buried. A lot of weird stuff <laughs> happening in such a peaceful place. Fun legends, but yes, you're right. Speaking of the unseen, I haven't seen any tunnel entrances really yet, have you? Tunnels? Nope. Supposedly there's a massive network of underground tunnels and catacombs underneath Riverside, which you can see right here in the background. Mission Inn is down there, of course we all know there's catacombs underneath that. But supposedly there's a tunnel connecting Mission Inn to a number of the landmarks in Riverside, including the Evergreen Cemetery, which is right down here. And then supposedly there's an entrance somewhere on Mount Rubidoux. So we're looking for that. I'm not sure if we'll find it today. In fact, I don't think it's been found in a very long time. Over here's the giant flagpole. This was raised in 1907 to commemorate the completion of the paved road, which we just walked all the way up. And it's right across from the cross, which we're gonna check out next. So Mount Rubidoux has amazing hiking trails and panoramic views, but what really puts this place on the map is that it hosts the longest running annual Easter sunrise service. Oh really? Each year, right here at the cross. In 1909, Jacob Reese suggested hosting an Easter sunrise service at the top of Mount Rubidoux. Over the years, thousands have flocked to hear the message on top of the hill. In the 1920s, attendance for the service reached over 30,000 visitors. Today, the tradition continues and crowds flock to Mount Rubidoux each year to hear the message of Easter. All right, we are approaching the cross. This is the Sarah Cross. It was erected on April 26, 1907 in honor of Father Junipero Serra. Quite a name. It's actually been involved in a bit of controversy over the years. In 2012, a group wanted to take the cross down and there were even some lawsuits that came because of that. Beloved by the locals, admired by first timers, and hailed as a historical landmark, Mount Rubidoux is a must see in Riverside County. Hey, if you're enjoying our episodes, be sure to hit the subscribe button as well as the bell icon so you can stay notified when we release new episodes. And if you have any ideas for future episodes for us, please leave those in the comments as well. We appreciate it. And who knows, maybe we'll be here at the next Easter sunrise service. Maybe so. <laughs> Thanks for joining us and we'll see you guys next time. Also, I made the mistake of introducing Drew to dry shampoo this morning. And now he thinks that he never has to take a shower ever again. <laughs> it's great. It's the worst mistake. Uh, I can't wait to ever. not shower ever again.